Hello, this is Robert Berry, registered clinical exercise physiologist with Henry Ford Hospital Preventive Cardiology. And we're talking about anatomy part two. This is the third session of our series and we're discussing heart valves and valvular disease. There are four valves that regulate the flow of blood through your heart. The tricuspid valve controls blood flow between the top and bottom of the right side of the heart. The pulmonary valve prevents blood from leaking back into the right ventricle after it is pumped out to the lungs. The mitral valve controls blood flow between the top and bottom of the left sides of the heart. The aortic valve prevents blood from leaking back into the left ventricle after it is pumped out to the rest of the body. There are two main types of heart valve problems. The first is stenosis, which occurs when a valve doesn't open properly, creating a narrowing that restricts blood flow and makes the heart work harder than it should. The second is regurgitation, which occurs when a valve doesn't close properly, allowing blood to leak back through and increases the work of the heart. Valvular disease may be caused by a birth defect, congenital, or illnesses that we acquire during our lifetime, or heart failure. As some people age, their valves may become stiff and not open or close properly anymore. Sometimes the tissue supporting the valve may become weakened and the valve may sag, causing regurgitation. There are several types of valve procedures available. One is traditional open heart surgery in which a mechanical or animal tissue valve replaces your own native valve. The second is balloon valvuloplasty where a surgeon will help open up a narrowed valve using a balloon. If the tissue supporting the valve is weakened and allowing regurgitation, they may be able to strengthen the tissue using a valve ring repair. Transcatheter aortic valve replacement, or TAVR, is a newer procedure for certain patient groups. In TAVR, a surgeon delivers the valve in a manner similar to the way a coronary artery stent is deployed and avoids the need for traditional open heart surgery. With some types of valve procedures, you may need to take blood thinners, known as antiplatelets or anticoagulants, to help prevent clot formation. That concludes our session on heart valves and valvular disease. Thank you for your attention.